All right, so from the title of this video, you can tell that I tried posting 60 pieces of content and more across X, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, email, just to try to get more clients into my business. I even had like a really structured content schedule and I would block off hours to focus on each separate platform separately to try to make sure that I optimize everything to get as much clients into my business. And I'm never ever doing that again. And if you're familiar with the big business gurus like Alex Hermosi or Gary Vee, the first thing they'll tell you if you're not getting enough clients or business is number one, they'll tell you to post more volume on all platforms. And number two, they'll tell you to give more free value. Like literally Alex Hermosi said, what if you made your free stuff better than everyone else's paid stuff? So I just followed their advice because they seem like knowledgeable. They're way ahead to where I am and they know what they're talking about. So I took their advice and I decided to post more because, you know, like work harder, do more. That's going to work, right? And giving more free value will get you more clients, logically, right? So I decided to create tons of free value content giving up my best free stuff to people for free on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, everywhere. I just open the doors and show people exactly how to do things. Okay. And then soon I found myself working eight to 12 hours a day, just creating content, just creating free value content, more, 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 more content, just trying to get one single client a month and work. So I would work so hard, 12 hour days, just literally creating content just to get a single client. And to me, that just didn't make any sense. That was so inefficient. So this was how my content strategy looked like. I would block off time for each separate type of content. I block off time for short form video, which is like content on TikTok, Instagram. I block off time to create a long form video for YouTube. I block off time to create content for email and I block off time to create content for uh, Twitter, short form, short tweets and long form tweets and threads. Now for each of these platforms, short form video would probably take me two hours scripting per week. And then I'd block up four hours to record and then possibly two hours editing. Like I do everything myself because I didn't, I didn't hire a content uh, editor. Long form YouTube, I'd friend um, two hours scripting uh, long form video, I actually had an editor, so that was that was helpful. I actually hired out a content agency to help me out with YouTube, which th that's another story for another video. But I spent two hours scripting, and then I'd spend uh, an hour recording. Okay, so that's for one video, and I would do two videos a week. So that'd be a total of four, and then two. So that'd be six hours total. Short form content would be six, eight, eight hours total. Short form content and long form written content, that'd probably take me around an hour to create a whole week's worth of short form content, which is five times a day. So one hour. And then long form content, I would actually spend a long time creating one piece of long form, a long form thread. I spend at least two to three hours. Let's, let's, let's be concerned, let's put two hours per, and that's times two, so that's four. So total five hours. Okay, and then email content, I spend around 30 minutes a day. So 30 times seven, 3.5, so 3.5 hours. So uh, we can round that up to four, four hours. Okay, so four, five, eight, six. So nine plus eight, 17, 17 plus six, 23 hours. So 23 hours a week just on creating content, like 23 hours a week, just on creating content. I find that very inefficient and that is way too time consuming. And if you're looking at this content strategy, you're probably thinking, wow, if you're doing that much work and you're posting that much content, it must be impossible not to get a client. Someone must decide to work with you because your content is going to be really good. You're posting a lot of value. You know, it, it sounds logical. I did this for a few weeks and Posting this much content got me a lot of followers, likes, and comments. I got a lot of people responding to, to my uh, posts saying, 
wow, this is so valuable. And they would say, your content is so good, thank you. But then when I would send messages to these people that engaged and try to offer them help or my services, they'll either one, ghost, like they just not respond to my messages, or two, they'll say they already solved their problem with my free content and they'll just again say how valuable it is and say the things along the lines of, keep it going man, your free stuff is better than other guys paid stuff. Or number three, they'd come up with some arbitrary reason why now's not the right time and that they'll use my free content to solve their problem themselves. Or number four, they'll straight up say that they use my strategies before to help their clients and help them make more money. And then they'll tell you, make your free stuff better than everyone else's paid stuff. Like I took that literally, make your free stuff better than everyone's paid stuff. So I thought, let me just make all my paid stuff for free. You know, give all your information for free, all of your free value, and then just sell the implementation. So I just did that. So then all my competitors took my free stuff and put it into their paid stuff. And they probably made money out of it. But anyways, I still thought that I'm not, the strategy is not a problem. I thought that I was a problem. So I continued to push further and I started trying to send even more messages to my followers because I would gain a, a decent amount of followers. So I send more messages to my followers and again, the same thing happened. They'll ghost or say something along the lines of really like your content, keep it going, but no one would, would buy everyone would, would just take my free content and they wouldn't buy. And at that moment, I knew that this strategy was the problem. It wasn't me because my content is good. People are saying it's helpful, but it's not making people want to buy because it was all for free. My theory is free value content works only if you're able to do it without monetizing. You're able to keep on posting free value for two, three years to build up an audience that you can message a really massive audience around maybe millions of followers and you could you just need like 10 people out of a million people to work with you and you do like super high ticket so you don't really care about the followers that you get but if you're posting free value you're not going to attract the people that want to buy you're going to attract people that want your stuff for free so it's going to be very difficult for you to monetize because you are adding so much fluff to your audience that not even one percent of it can you can monetize out of it. So this is why I really don't like the strategy of giving free value content. And what I noticed personally, when I started posting tons of free value content, working 20 plus hours a week just to create content, number one, I attracted other sellers, other people like me trying to sell the same service as me. And they would follow me, like my content and say how much value it was, how valuable it was, and they would add it to their program, literally. I saw someone literally copy my stuff and put it into their program. Number two, I would plain out to get freebie seekers that were never going to buy anyways. So definitely inefficient way to just post free value content. It needs to be smarter than that. And I especially do not have the patience to work 12 hours a day like a dog for the next two, three years just to build up a million, millions of followers and then try to monetize one to 0.1 to 1% of it and then make money then. I need to make money now, not in two, three years working 12 hours a day is like a dog. So I went back to these new strategies and I wanted to take a closer look at how does Alex Ramosi do it? How does Gary Vee do it? How do all these people do it? And I took a closer look and I realized that these guys pay or spend between 20,000 to $70,000 a month paying editors on rotation, an editor for X, an editor for LinkedIn, an editor for YouTube, an editor for short form content, not even to mention creative director, just to post more free value content. Like they're not doing the work. They're not sitting on their desk creating the content. They pay someone else to do the content for them, to edit the content for them. So that's why they just, they don't care. And these guys monetize only 1% of their audience and they do super high ticket. They do like crazy, uh, partnership deals that is multi-million dollar deals with other people so they don't really care if they attract freebie seekers they're just a number they don't really care because they only need one like one percent so for them it's more about a uh, top of mind thing they they create this much free value content because they just want to be known by more people which is not what i want i don't want to be famous i don't care about being famous 
I care about making money and then living a life of freedom, not sitting on my desk 12 hours working like a dog, creating content and attracting people that will never buy. And look, there's nothing wrong with Hermosi's advice of posting more value, more content. That depends on where you are in business. If you are already making significant amount of money and you don't really care about monetizing, you're like making millions of dollars a year and you just want to be known, you want to be famous, you, you only need to monetize 1% of your audience, you do big partnership deals, maybe you, want, maybe you are at the level of Grant Cardone, Hermosi, Matt Gray, all these big gurus, maybe you're at their level, you don't need to, you don't really care, you can dish out multiple five figures a month just for people to create content for you, then cool, you could do that. But if you are a person who can't, who doesn't have five figures to spend each month just on creating content, then you probably will want a more efficient way approach that's gonna allow you to monetize and make money today and not working 12 hours a day like a dog. So I decided to create my own strategy. And with this strategy, I spend around 30 minutes a day creating content, and then I'd use that to repurpose onto other platforms. And that would give me almost the same amount of reach with literally a percentage of the effort I used to do before. All right, so now my strategy is 30 minutes content strategy or the two hour man way. What I do is I figured out what is the platform that I was able to monetize the most. And for me, it was email. Sending that 30 minute email every single day was able was able, allowed me to get clients each single month. So what I did was, what if I just focus on email first and then just repurposed everything from email onto other platforms? So that's what I did. So I spent 30 minutes a day on my core platform, which is email. And then from then, I would then use that to redistribute that onto multiple platforms. So from the email, I'd use that email and then post that onto Twitter, LinkedIn. And then if I wanted to create a YouTube video, I'm not gonna create a script from scratch. I'll use my email as the script for my YouTube video or vice versa. If I'm ever gonna work on a YouTube script, that YouTube script will also be used in email so I could get paid from it. So the goal now was making sure I focused on what was gonna pay me first and then whatever paid me, I would then repurpose that onto other platforms. And the cool thing about this was that I spent only 30 minutes a day and then have content for the next week. So 30 minutes, work on the email content and that'll give me 21 pieces of content for the whole week. Content pieces for the week. And that's all I needed to make sure I collected people to join the email list and to make sure that I monetize people on my email list. Now, if you want more information on this, I have a video where I show exactly how I uh, monetize and how I make money 30 minutes of work a day. So you click that in the card somewhere over here and you can watch that.